Hey guys, it's Katie. I know it's been like 17 years since I have sat down and filmed a video. I know I uploaded one rather recently um, compared to when I'm actually sitting down and filming this one, but that had been filmed so long ago and just sitting on my computer ready to upload. Um, so I'm going to do a get ready with me and explain why there has been such a lack of videos and uploads recently. So, um, because this is a get ready with me, I'm not going to focus so much on the pro products. I will show you them, but it's going to be rather a little bit chatty. So let's just get started with the foundation and I am using the Revlon Candid foundation um in the lightest shade i think 101 i'm so pale right now um just on a flat top kabuki okay so if you have been following my videos um since the beginning um i have mentioned a couple times that um, about a year and a half ago, I was going through cancer, Ewing sarcoma. It is a bone cancer. Um, and um, a year, so this past December was my one year cancer free mark. So I had been, um, you know, in remission or whatever for a year. This past January, like a few months ago, um, I was experiencing excruciatingly debilitating headaches. And like, I don't get bad headaches or migraines at all. Um, so I went to my doctor, they did some scans and um, they found a spot on my skull. Um, and after some testing, um, my cancer has come back. That's what I'm dealing with right now. That's what I've been dealing with. Um, and um, I'm gonna use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer um, dark circle eraser in the shade brightener actually um, because this is kind of like a pinky shade and because of the chemotherapy I've been going through um, it does cause me to be extremely fatigued and just weak and exhausted and I have been developing some little dark circles so I'm just going to use that but yes since January um, Actually, since I think I started chemo in February or the beginning of March. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing about, I go, um, I go get chemo for a week straight and then I have some time off to rebound and then I go back. Um, and I'm doing, uh, you know, scans all the time. Um, so yeah, that is what I have been dealing with. I, the chemo makes me, um, extremely sick and tired, um, you know, like stomach cramps, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, you know, all, all the great stuff. Um, I sleep like I can sleep for like, like 17, 18 hours straight. Um, when I get home from chemo because it's just so exhausting. Um, it, I have a weird, like, appetite and weird taste buds. It makes everything, like, taste funny. Um, 
because um, the tumor was sitting on a nerve in my skull, um, I did have a head surgery like right away before I started chemo um, to um, they tried to cut out as much of the tumor as they could without damaging any nerves. So I had a huge, um, yeah, head surgery before I even started chemo. And that was like, whoa, I've had lots of surgeries because of, um, cancer. And that was by far like, whoa, hit me like a ton of bricks because, um, you know, anything to do with your head is just so, it, it just knocks you out. I had, um, about 30 staples going from here, then kind of like rounded up to the center of my head. So if you see closely, um, well, I don't know if you can see much anymore, but I had a spot where you know they shaved my head i think it's like right here where they shaved my head you know and put the staples in um and yes this is my real hair so far i had three weeks of chemo i don't know how many i'm going to have in the long run um but um my hair is falling out it's falling out like in small little chunks especially when I shower so I'm really trying not to wash my hair much when I shower or I'm being really gentle I don't brush my hair every day I literally like put it up in a bun and I leave it like this for days until I do shower um I'm gonna set my face with the Mil Milani prep set and glow um So there are kind of like uh, bald spots, I guess, around if I would let my hair down and kind of show you, but I'm not going to do that. But um, yeah, so my hair is slowly falling out. I, I hope it's, it's falling out a lot slower than it did last time. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that, uh, I get to stop chemo before it falls out completely, um, because I can deal with this, um, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Um, next I'm going to go in with blush, and I just got this. It is, um, one of Milani's baked blushes in Dulce Pink. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. I think eventually I am going to, um, have to wear my wig again, which, uh, yeah, really, really bums me out. Um, yeah, I'm just not a fan of wigs. They are extremely hot, especially since it's going to be summertime. Um, I'm just not looking forward to it. It's not exciting, obviously. So, we're just going to roll with it, though. I am, you know, thankful that this is a cancer that can be treated with chemotherapy. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to have any more surgeries. Um, I've had so many surgeries in the last couple of years because of cancer. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer just in the shade Bronzer. Um, so this was not how I was planning my year. So yeah, I, I also, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I am a teacher. Um, I've obviously... Oh, this smells so good. I've obviously, um, 
taken a leave from teaching again because I had to take a leave the first time I was diagnosed. Um, so it was just like way deja vu. Um, ooh, a little much um, deja vu and just we could not believe this was happening again. It has been so traumatic to our family um, because um, my first the first time I was diagnosed I had to have a surgery that removed um, part of my pelvis and because of that in that that part that was removed was never replaced so I've had I had to learn how to walk again but I had to learn to walk first I was in a wheelchair for three months and couldn't walk so I had to learn to walk with first a walker then two crutches and then one crutch and then I, since then so since almost two years ago it'll be two years in June since almost two years ago I have been walking with a crutch or two crutches sometimes but mainly one crutch um, so I have not walked on my own in almost two years which has been like worse than you can possibly imagine I'm going to do brows and the only thing I'm going to do is this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and I have this in the shade Brunette. Um, it's just like any, you know, tinted brow gel. It um, has a wand like that but I really like it. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I haven't walked on my own in almost two years. It's you know, obviously caused a lot of situations with my mental health. Just obviously it's been the most difficult thing I've experienced and then to have to go through it again right when you're kind of on the upswing of things. Um, yeah, it's no words can explain can explain what it feels like to be. I was 24 when I was first diagnosed. I'm 26 now. Um, and the only thing I've known in these two years is cancer and recovering from cancer and then cancer again. I am just going to go in actually with that butter bronzer. all over my crease and kind of my lid um but we are hoping that and we're actually it it looks promising that you know we are going to beat this once again um and then after we have beaten this, um, I am 99% sure I'm going to have a reconstruction surgery on my pelvis. So those pieces that they had to take out because of the tumor, um, they're actually able to like scan me and measure me and all that and then 3d print um a replica of my pelvis and then screw it back into the remaining parts of my pelvis so um i am looking forward to having that surgery as soon as possible i was actually supposed to have it um, coming up this June but again I was 
re-diagnosed with the cancer it came back unexpectedly so that put a huge wrench in our plans um i'm going to go in with the color pop um highlight in flexitarian and i'm going to use this both for my cheek highlight and then i'm going to put it on the center of my lid in um, the inner corner highlight So yeah, at least, you know, we have a positive mindset looking forward. Um, it's just still, still a long road ahead. And a road we never expected to be on, let alone twice um you know i just keep telling my doctor i just want to be a normal 20 something year old i don't want cancer to consume my 20s um because it does it wreaks havoc on your body, let me tell you. It, I don't want it there. It just, it, it, ugh. One of the steroids I have to take causes my face to break out in a rash. And then, so, it's like, I take this steroid when I'm receiving chemo and then um, I am just going to put that bronzer underneath my lower lash line as well. Um, <laughs> the fact that chemo is essentially like it kills all the good all the cells in your body the good ones and the bad cancer ones so i take all these medicines to try to boost all the good cells but unfortunately um cancer really does a number on your white blood cells which make up your immune system uh, mascara. I didn't get mascara out, but I am just going to use uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm trying to think if I <laughs> used everything. I don't remember how to do makeup. I haven't done it in so long. Um, my immune system is so low, like I'm, I can't see a lot of people. I can't be around any type of germs cough cold any of that that mascara on and then for lips i'm going to kind of do a kind of fun springy color this is the nyx butter gloss in peaches and cream so i'm just going to put that on the lips And that's why I love kind of doing a simple neutral eye is then you can pick any lip color you want. These are the lips. These are the eyes. Very simple. Um, I like doing this kind of eye combination when traveling as well because, you know, I just used my bronzer and my highlight and a simple lip gloss. So... Um, and I really like lips. Anyway, those are my favorite things to do for makeup. So, um, yeah, it's a very simple look. Um, I have puffy face. Chemo does that as well. Makes your face a little puffy um, with all the fluids they are pumping in you. Um, but anyway, that's my story. That is why um, there haven't been videos. And I can't promise how frequent videos are going to be on here because um you know the thing about chemo is the more you have it the sicker you get the tired you get more tired you get um so and you know when i do have good days it's spending time with family and friends and uh so 
I don't know if you're the praying type I would appreciate any prayers for um, health and recovery um, so but this is my look um, if you want to hear more about my cancer story, um, let me know. I can leave my blog post down below um, or I could talk about it in future videos in like a story time or, you know, coffee chat or something like that. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, sorry I can't promise like anything regular, but I will do my best. So, thanks for checking this out. See you next time.